No, Schmittler, please tell me you didn't cut off Karen's ponytail. Are you out of your damn mind? She's gonna lose it. I'm not opening up that locker. She has been inside every single locker that I've opened. I refuse to get stabbed for what you did. If you need me, I'll be avoiding this meeting. Since when do we do business in here? I kind of figured... We were more about growing plants in the office. Why does that cow have titties instead of udders? Am I supposed to be making some kind of offering to the double D milkers? Because I can. Oh, I got milk. Isn't that lovely? What's up, guys? Welcome to Ditching Work 3, uh, a game that I feel like everyone can relate to. It's like, even though we all want a job, we still wish that we could execute some kind of crazy middle-of-the-day escape plan that only a Japanese game developer could come up with. I'm sure for a lot of you guys, this is probably gonna be your first day, so I'll bring you up to date on the workplace environment real quick. To the left, we have my new co-worker, Mr. Schmittler. I don't know what his deal is yet. He always looks like his favorite team just lost the Super Bowl. To the right, we have my boss, who will go to literally any extent to make sure I don't leave work early. You'll see what I mean, he's crazy. And we work in some kind of all-blue office building that manages money about as well as EA manages player expectations. Don't mind me, you two. I'm just gonna get up and go marvel at our latest business expense. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Dangling a comically large padlock off of a doorknob accomplishes nothing. It is bad enough that that was a business expense, but they also bought a filing cabinet, not for the files, but to hide the key on. I'm starting to think that Schmittler might not be making the best financial decisions for this corporation. Oh crap, should I have not said that so loudly like 10 feet away from the desk? I really didn't mean to hurt his feelings. He's already sad enough as it is. This is why we need a filing cabinet for the files. Otherwise your lederhosen's gonna get smooshed. Are you okay under there, Schmittler? How's the old Spinerino doing? You, you, oh, okay. Thank you. I mean, if you want to get out of here, we can go get drinks or something. I'm sure there's a titty bar around here somewhere. Oh. Oh, really? Did he just set me up? I absolutely should have left you for dead, or at the very least known better. Like, clearly, the only reason you'd ever be smiling is when you're doing something evil. I'm still gonna take the key, and I still plan to get out of here, and now you're not invited to the titty bar. I wonder... I see, and now you can't get to me because there's a pile of paperwork. I know that safety report isn't gonna write itself, but at the same time, I'm sure the two of you can come up with a perfectly valid story for why Schmittler nearly died yesterday. I'm gonna go drain the lizard. Er bleed the dragon. I'm gonna go release Mad P from my nuts. How about that? Uh, Guys, why did we buy a three-for-one pack of crucifixes from the dollar store? Like, I, I know we need to save money, but this seems a little bit cheap. Oh, we actually bought some useful stuff for once. We've got a kitchenette for the cafeteria. I'm not touching that. That was an overtime energy drink if I've ever seen one. Nothing in the freezer. Oh, we got a rope. Okay, would you like to hang yourself or be crucified? Dealer's choice. And we got a Xerox machine, which I clearly need to use to photocopy my butt. That is not how you photocopy your butt. Okay. Oh, frontal, interesting. I guess we can go ahead and make copies of ourselves. Oh, maybe we could crucify them. I like it. Okay, we can uh, do a little something like this. Decoys. And then the rope is because I can't use the door. He'd see me leaving. I, I gotta go out the window. <laughs> Genius! Hey, Schmittler, where'd the boss go? Like, he's doing something in the other room to stop me from leaving work for like the fifth day in a row, isn't he? He's tired of me ducking out like quarter after nine in the morning, so he's doing something ingenious. It's probably diabolical. Or he's dressed like a panda. <laughs> I mean, the door is gone, so clearly he did something correctly. I, I'm not gonna touch that, though. 
There's also a very real looking panda in here. Weird. I mean, maybe that's some kind of tax write off? If we're like an endangered species habitat? We could technically feed one of the pandas, I suppose, but I'm not sure which one. Are you kidding me right now? So he was dressed like a panda. He was just crying in the locker. Wait, so who the hell's in the other room? I was about to suggest that we call security, but let's be honest, we can't afford security around here. We don't even have a door for them to get in through. So I guess I'm just gonna have to pretend like I can't see you. Do you want me to paint you like one of your French girls? Or do, I, I, no, I don't even care. We're gonna deal with you, okay? Well, we're gonna go ahead and, and feed this panda. Is that a good thing? I've got a tire now, which is great, I suppose. I don't want to go in here. I clearly need to do something with you. Do you want the tire? That was a surprisingly thick panda, but I think we just made our escape. I feel like that is another one of those references that's lost in translation. I don't mean to sound like an echo in this office, but who the hell are you? What happened to Schmittler? Like, there's no way we can afford that many employees. I refuse to believe it. Why are you angrily staring at this plate pillow that I can't interact with? Okay, I guess I'm just gonna go dress up like a chicken. Interesting. I fully understand what's going on here. I have eggs, I'm dressed like a chicken, you're mad at a pillow, and you're new around here. Would you like to dress like a chicken? No, of course not. Fabulous hair like that. I'm just gonna go ahead and jump out the window. We really should pay for security around here because not only are people breaking in, but we also have giant spine breaking chickens. I may have provoked it because I was dressed like its mate or because I stole its refrigerated babies. It has to have something to do with this, right? D do you like that? Do you want to dress like a chicken? No, do I want to? Dress myself like a chicken? Okay, I I'm just gonna warm these eggs with my balls. Don't worry, they're smooth as eggs as well. <laughs> Maybe give it a hot second, close the refrigerator, okay? Power bill's really just killing us around here. And just like that, we've got some little chickadoodles. Can I leave now? For a second there, I thought he would see me leave, but no, we're good. And I took the babies with me. Listen, I'm not looking to keep score here, but you owe me big time. I got your replacement eaten by a seven foot two chicken. You're welcome. Assuming you like this job a whole lot more than I do, still not gonna be touching that. Not interested in working overtime. Oh, well, isn't that just cute? They got rid of the padlock and they replaced it with a mummy's curse. <laughs> All right then, I don't suppose We've got a mummy hiding out in this steel sarcophagus. Nope, just someone with big mommy energy chasing me down. Karen, not now! I know we have an absurdly large lock around here somewhere, so all we really need is something to plug up the air holes and then we can hermetically seal Karen in there. That way future generations can worry about her talking to managers. Okay. We've got some kind of tomb robber who seems to be coming for our mini pyramids or our puppy-sized sphinx, which I now have. That That's mine. I also have a sleeping boss. Okay, then. You're probably here for the sphinx. I would rather give you the boss. You're, you're fine with the boss? Okay, thank you. I, I, I would assume now I get your ladder and I can use that to climb up the two-foot pyramid? No, surprisingly not. I gotta get through this door. Like, it has to have something to do with whatever this, like, train intersection is. Okay. Now we just need a train? Um... Not quite what I was expecting. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes in business, you just fail upward. Well, it's been about 24 hours. Uh, I don't suppose Karen's now more of a bloated corpse than she already was. Oh. 
No, I have someone's Matador outfit. Okay, I don't think that's his. <laughs> Is it yours? No, but you're very angry at that steak. Interesting. I also have... What I can only assume is a Pokemon after the first 252. Like, everything beyond that is just nonsense. <laughs> not even gonna question it, just gonna take it along and... I'm not gonna touch your steak, I feel like that's a bad idea. Okay. Well, we have what loosely looks like a bull. I, I would imagine I can stab it with a knife? Weird. Oh, still not drinking that. I'd assume I just need to... Yeah, there we... Nope! Nope! Somehow not it! Well, I'm not supposed to jab its abstract bovine eyes out, so I would imagine it wants the... egg thing? Okay, and we'll get a fork from it. So now we have knife and fork, which I can probably use to eat that steak, but I'd much rather you did. There we go. And then we make you a luchador? Oh, you don't need to get run over. I can just leave as it is because you're distracted. <laughs> sure, that thing also looks like it could be one of the weird later Pokemon. Like, everything does. As if prime cut T-bone steaks weren't bad enough. Where did we get the money for a drone? What are we going to use a drone for? We work in an all blue office building. There isn't a whole lot to see around here. <laughs> just empty drawers and oversized locks and weird strangers with their kids. Uh, I would assume we want that there, and then... No. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, well, we've got liftoff, and mmm, we've got an even worse kind of liftoff. <laughs> oh, oh, nice! Okay, well, the key fell out his ass, and now we can get out of here. Sometimes it's real easy. You know, you, you just gotta piece things together in a very logical and calm way. When Karen told the boss yesterday that there were things on a shelf that she couldn't reach, I kind of figured we would go out and get a stepping stool or, or maybe like a really sturdy chair. I didn't think we would get a crane. It's an indoor office crane. Why would we ever need this? What are we going to use? You're asleep, so I, I could just take you. Do you want to? Oh, you actually want to come along too? Okay, then. I guess we're just going to go... Hang out on the colorful stools. You shouldn't have colorful stool if you do see a doctor. <laughs> oh, look at that. We've even got some art. Well, good for us. I'm, I'm just gonna sneak up and... Oh, oh, it's too heavy. Oh, and I threw out my back. That would be why we want a crane. For a second there, I was kind of wondering why I was twerking on the office statue, but... <laughs> that makes more sense, I guess, now that I have you. Is there anything I can do for you? You seem to be missing fire. Keep an eye out for fire. Oh, I see. We've got green, we've got red, we've got yellow. What are you, what are you turning away for? You got a problem with Schmittler? Does he smell? <laughs> I still need fire! I still don't have fire. I don't need fire. I get a key for some reason. Yeah, I mean, sure, you just vive la resistance, but what? I'm starting to wonder why it's so difficult to escape work when my boss is asleep more often than he's not. Like, you know what I mean? Most of the time, I could just pick him up and put him in my pocket. Do you want to come too? No, you're going to do some work. Okay, good for you. Here, I'll, I'll open the window for you and let in another Egyptian raider. There was no way I could have seen him coming and I won't be able to in the future because he just stabbed me in the eye. All right, let's go boss. I'm gonna leave the window closed. There's a bit of a murderous breeze outside. I don't suppose Karen is... What? Wh who is this? Why is there a large naked man in our locker who just choked me to death with a chain? I shouldn't have to ask this in a workplace. So we're not going to open the window and get stabbed in the eye. We're not going to open a locker and get choked. What are you doing? Why is your hair weird? It wasn't weird. You had some kind of do-rag placed on it poorly. I need a key, so I'm going to go over here. Those are some tig-ass biddies. <laughs> I don't suppose I can have you two interact. 
Did you need like a sports bra for those or no? Okay, okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, it was probably a wrestler in the locker. That makes total sense, I'm sure, right? Okay, <laughs> have a nice day. Well, I gotta assume our boss decided to sleep elsewhere all of a sudden, but he left behind his jogging outfit. It's probably more like a cult outfit, to be perfectly honest. He doesn't look like the type to jog. <laughs> Did you want to wear this, Schmittler? No, that's probably for the best. Would he really be sleeping underneath a crash mat? Oh no, we got ourselves a comically large hammer, which might be perfect to smash my comically large lock. No. Is he sleeping under here? I should have hammered the other side of the crash mat. I could have made Karen pop like a ketchup packet. Then I'll go ahead and take the outfit and I'll take the hammer and I can't smush you. Fine, we'll leave you. Do you want the out? Oh, you do actually want the outfit. And then I could test my might and give you each a severe concussion for whatever reason. I mean, I'm out, but I'm kind of wondering why the office intramural team is trying to contend for the Olympics. Is baseball an Olympic sport? It's gotta be, right? It's like one of the most popular sports in the world. I don't suppose our boss is hiding in here. No, still not gonna drink that. All right, well, you seem to have become a fan of baseball all of a sudden. Not really gonna question where we got the money for this batter's mound. Wait, batter's mound? Shouldn't this be a pitcher's mound? Why is there a batter on the pitcher's mound? I don't know, I'm just... Damn it, Karen, I... Oh, it's not a game over. Karen is spying on the hot baseball guy. Oh, you saucy minx. Well then, I suppose I could give you the baseball stuff, right? Maybe you could pitch to the pitcher's mound. Oh, oh, okay, yep, you didn't warm up enough. Ooh, you see, who needs base plates when you've got cake like that? All right, well, we're out. Never figured out quite what Karen was doing, but it's fine. We don't really have harassment policies around here. Everyone is awake and working at the desk. And once again, I'm gonna go drain Mad P from my nuts. I'll be back in just a second, right after I find another locker, Karen, or not. I, I keep telling them that, but in all reality, we don't even have a bathroom. I found the Karens. There's a whole troop of them. A, a squad, a flock. I don't know what you would call a group of Karens. You'll have to let me know. Maybe I can provide them a peace offering? Would you guys, yes. <laughs> Thank you. I got a secret magazine. I recognize that guy. All right, well, I, I guess you would probably want to see this. Oh, yep, that's not good. <laughs> but I, I don't know what that did for me. Oh, wait, I've got some paperwork here. What would I use this for? Can I, like, give it to you? Oh, yeah, oh, I needed to get him to sign it. Okay. That still doesn't do anything to help me escape, though. Did you guys need this? I have to be missing something. Oh, there's, there isn't a lock on the door. Hi. Oh, I need to get by. Yeah, I, I, I have a, a note from the boss. <laughs> Did he just resign? There are only like four people who work in this building. I don't understand how it seems like every day I run into someone I've never met before. I mean, it's nice to meet you, Mr. Pink, but you look about as miserable as everybody should be in here. Never mind, continue doing your work. I'm just gonna realize that I don't seem to have the higher level brain function to be able to pull this fuzzy blue thing out of the desk. I guess we just want to leave the cookie monster cock in there. That's fine. Sure. Why not? not? Still not drinking that. Nope. I could go for a wig, I suppose. Do you guys want a wig, Karen? Can I interest you in a wig? Bo oh, boss wants a wig. That's uh, not flattering. 
Yeah, we're gonna go with not flattering. All right, well, he hasn't kicked me out yet. That's always a good thing. Oh, crap. What did... Oh! That's what it was. It was a blue fan. Do I need the blue fan? Do I need to give... Oh. I thought I was gonna give each of them a wig and a fan and I was screwing things up, but apparent apparently not. Apparently the party is just rocking. <laughs> and and you dropped a key. Great. Alright, well, I'll I'll just be down the street at the titty bar. I I, I told Schmittler he was gonna miss out. No, Schmittler, please tell me you didn't cut off Karen's ponytail. Are you out of your damn mind? She's gonna lose it. I'm not opening up that locker. She has been inside every single locker that I've opened. I refuse to get stabbed for what you did. If you need me, I'll be avoiding this meeting. Since when do we do business in here? I kind of figured... We were more about growing plants in the office. Why does that cow have titties instead of udders? Like, am I supposed to be making some kind of offering to the double D milkers? Because I can. Oh, I got milk. Isn't that lovely? I, I guess I could give this to someone. Oh, he gave me lavender? I got some of his lavender. Do you guys want lavender? No, can I, oh, I shoved it into, oh, I thought that was a printer. It was a humidifier. <laughs> okay, well, now that they're all sleeping, I can take the key and get the hell out of here. It's ingenious, and I didn't even get stabbed by Karen. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Ditching Work 3, guys. I thought I would have fully escaped by now, and by escaped, I mean get fired, but I only got through 25 days, and apparently this game is twice as long as the first one. So if you guys wanna see me return for even more, please leave a like in the video, leave a comment. I absolutely love these games. I think they're just the most random, funny things that I can play. And then maybe I'll be able to return and do a sweet backflip in the office on a bike soon. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.